Paul, how are your emotions post-match? There must be a mixture of, of pride and frustration. No, you know, as a manager, you come away from home and I pride myself that we'll be involved in good games. You know, I always say that. You, you must be respectful to Bournemouth. You've got such fantastic players. To see the likes of Callum Wilson and Jordan Ive and lads like that, Pew coming off the bench. Do you know, we were always going to have a tough test, but our lads were great today. We played really well. Do you know, I'm so pleased for them, the sub travelling supporters, to go down. We managed to score goals and create chances. And you know, there's a massive debate in the game, isn't it? The last minute penalty where we'll feel that would have put us 3 1 up if we'd have scored, and maybe, maybe not. But the referee hasn't given it. So, you know, we take a 2 2 draw, we're in the hat, you know, and we'll see what that brings. You mentioned that last minute moment. You see Ivan Tony going through on goal. What do, you, what do you think? I, for us, it's a penalty. But you, you, I, I'm listen. I'm dead pro referees. I would carry on as bad as anyone on the sidelines, but never after games. The referees have split second decisions to make, and whether he's got that one right or wrong, it's irrelevant. He hasn't given it, and I'll support the referees on that. From my point of view, it is a pen, and that moment's huge in the game. You know, from the referee who hasn't decided to give it, that's the way it is. Yeah, first to shake his hand, but you've come away to a Premier League side today, shown exactly what Wigan Athletic are all about. That's, you know, I've always said when I come into football, I wouldn't be someone who parks the bus. You get naturally forced back by good teams. We got naturally forced back in the second half, and no matter what we've done at times, we couldn't keep Bournemouth off them. But when you're looking at the calibre of player in Bournemouth team, that's great credit to them. For our lads, we had clear good chances in the second half as well to go 2-0 up, we had good chances possibly to go 3-0 up, 3-1 up and we couldn't take them and that would have been a key goal in the game, that would have took, it would have disheartened Bournemouth, unfortunately we weren't able to do that but as I say, we'll, we draw, we move into the, we're still in the FA Cup fourth round tie which is great for everyone and we'll see what it brings. And at times it was like watching two heavyweight boxers going at it, you really, as you say, took the two goal lead but still went for it. And I will always be a manager like that, it's hard when people say but you have to do this, you have to do that, you know eventually in football you hold hand, your hand up and say you got beat by a better team. You know, we've come away and I think we've earned a lot of credit today from the tie in general. And Will Griggs' goal to, to get things going, calmness personified. Uh, Will's playing really well at the minute, but so are a lot of the lads. Were, the lads are in a very happy place at the minute in terms of how they work and you know, how about they go about the work. And, you know, it's nice that we keep a little bit of an unbeaten run going, a really big game. And you know, I have a week now to prepare for Peterborough, which is a big game in our next one. And what do you make of, of being in the fourth round? You, you've got the replay, though, to get through that first. I'm quite a, a pessimist at times, aren't I? Where, you know, if we'd have been knocked out, you know, I think they hit the foot of the post in the last kick of the game and I had to shook Eddie's hand and wished him well. Do you know, that's what football's about. I'm disappointed we haven't managed on to, to the league because it would have been a, you know, a cup shock, if you like, a League One team coming to a Premier League team. But it wasn't to be. And, you know, I think our lads can, create, can take great heart with their performance in general. And Nick Powell had to come off in that second half. I know it's soon after the game, but how is he? He's fine, he looked very fatigued, Nick, to be fair, he looked very, very tired and he's such an instrumental player in terms of how we play and what he brings to the team. So I thought it was important that we brought him off at that time to make sure you know, that the lad stays fit for the next few games. Did that change the rhythm of the game, bring him off? I think Jordan Ibe and Callum Wilson and all them changed the game. I'd love to say it was Powley, you know, but I think the momentum Bournemouth started the second half, it was always a ferocious one. You know, as you say, it was a little bit at times end to end. You know, Michael Jacobs has cut in a couple of times and we feel he should shoot and score, but you know, Michael was excellent today. I'm really pleased with the players today, as I say, to come away and, you know, have a, a, a game plan in your head that says we're going to have a go. And, you know, I think there's not enough managers personally now who do that away from home. I think there's far too much negativity in the game, but that's only my, my opinion.